YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very simple video going over FIFA investments, FIFA trading, expected content to be coming out in the next couple of days, and some leaks for Team of the Season. But before we do all that, we got to talk about content today on Monday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Monday was solid. We got exactly what I said we were getting with the one of three 81 plus player pick and my prediction was correct as well. I threw it out there and said, you know, maybe we get an 85 plus times five SBC and that is exactly what we got. Now this SBC was it's kind of expensive and 83 85 overall squad no team of the week requirement as well so that was kind of disappointing and for fodder we didn't see too much happen today 83s rose i told you guys 83s 800 coins pretty low risk wasn't sure how much they were necessarily going to rise they actually went up a decent amount 84s that was one of the ratings we really only tipped two ratings mainly i think we may have talked about 85s but they were a bit riskier and then they kind of rose yesterday i don't remember if i mentioned them again though we'll get into that in a second but 84s 87s those were our main ratings 83s i guess i can toss that in there as well but 84s we've been buying 84s for like 2500 coins in the vip discord i think on twitch as well and with the 84s we've been buying more specifically the odegaard and the trippier those cards have been chilling around 3000 coins all 84s are up in price a little bit, and I still think you can pick up some of these 84 overall cards. Trippier looks like he's up a little bit again. He is 3.6, so I'd say anything below 3.5. You should be able to get like 3,400 coins on bid. Now, the other guy, Odegaard, rose a lot today. I don't know if he's back down in price. He might still be expensive. Mm, he is back down in price. He was almost 4,000 coins today. Odegaard, same thing as Trippier, just try to get below 3,500. And these guys are investments because, hey, look, if 84s rise, they can rise. But if they don't rise, what's coming out? Premier League team of the season, Odegaard and Trippier are pretty nailed on. So there was that. 83s, 84s rising, 85s are down in price. They're like 9K, 86s. I didn't, I haven't really been watching 86s at all. 87s are down. The 87 overall card we were trying to buy was Rodri because of Prem Team of the Season. I should also throw it out there that Rodri isn't guaranteed a Prem Team of the Season. There is, I guess, some debate around who's going to get in. Maybe he could be like a bench player, but me personally, I think he would deserve it over Casemiro. I think he's been one of the best midfielders in the league consistently as well with Manchester City. He barely gets rested. So 87s, we've been watching them, but I've really said, hey, if you're going to buy them, just go buy Rodri. A lot of people did sell Rodri. I mean, it was a smart thing to do to sell Rodri on Sunday when they all went to like 18, 19,000 coins. A lot of us took profit there. I took profit on a couple of mine, but that's Rodri. If you can still, he, he's down a little bit. If you still want to take a bit of a gamble, 14, 14, 2, 5 is looking like the buy price now on him. And it, it, it's really going to depend if Rodri rises this week, it's going to depend on the next two SBCs coming out because I've told you guys, we are getting a team of the season guaranteed aired the visa SBC and a team of the season guaranteed community team of the season guaranteed SBC. So that's two SBCs that could potentially maybe make 87s rise. Now, the situation we have is what are the requirements going to be? Because last year, when we got the guaranteed team of the season upgrades, it was an 84 overall squad. They both were the community and the Eredivisie team of the season, 84 overall squads. One of them had a team of the season or team of the week requirement. Now, I don't think it's going to be like that this year. I think the only way we maybe see these 87 overall cards rise is if we get something like, I'd say... 
84, 85 overall squad with like 287s minimum required. I think that's the only way we're maybe going to see these rise. There is potential, but I think you have better, better chances of like an 84, maybe 85s. Maybe 85s as well. Maybe a higher chance of those cards rising. So that's 87s. Rodri, if he gets a team this season though, you know, hopefully out of packs, he can do pretty decent. And anything above 87, uh, we thought about Holland for a second, but high rated fodder does not really do good during team of the season. I've had people asking me, yo, Teddy, these really expensive or, or high rated cards are, are cheap. They're really cheap at the moment. And they just don't do good during team of the season because think about it there's so much high rated supply with the new team of the season cards with your weekend league player picks there's a lot of supply and that kills these high rated cards there's all the supply from weekend league as well lightning rounds being open but then on top of that we don't really have too many SBCs requiring high rated fodder at least at the moment the hero player pick we got is an 84 and an 86 overall squad the player SBCs we're getting aren't really that high rated requirements. We do have a raw hole, but player SBCs don't affect the market too much unless it's like a crazy, crazy card and there's a good amount of them. I got Chipotle waiting for me. I, I feel like almost every YouTube video I eat Chipotle and I get a text saying, hey, Chipotle is here. Um, so high rated fodder, anything above 88, 88 or higher, I'm like... I don't really know. That's why I, I kind of pulled away from that Holland investment and we went for Rodri because, hey, Rodri, 87, could do decent. I'm a bit shaky. We just need those team of the season guaranteed SBCs to maybe require the 87s. But if we're still looking at fodder, no team of the week requirement, the high rated, a lot of it is down. Anything 85 or higher is pretty much down in price. If I was looking into it now and I still don't have any, I'd just be looking at, honestly, probably the 84 overall cards. And I, I think that'd be my safest move. Odegaard, Trippier, or just 84s in general. Because they'll probably go up in price as this. I I don't know what's going on with EA, but you can never tell when these things refresh. I have no idea. There's the refresh symbol on the right. You see repeatable once. The clock thing next to it means when it refreshes. But I have no freaking clue when it refreshes. I don't think the hero player pick shows when it refreshes either. Let's see. Nope, it does now. Four days. There we go. It's about time, EA. So I'm guessing that's refreshing every day. It could be refreshing just once and it'll be in like two days. I don't know. We'll we'll find out, I guess. We also, for content, got these 81 plus player picks. Gold commons are on the rise if you guys bought them. They rose really quickly, by the way. They were up in price fast. Usually Sunday, you can pick them up on bid for pretty cheap but it wasn't that possible. They were like 400 coins on bid. That was kind of crappy. And now they're 700 coins. They're probably, if you list for 750, you'll get sales for lazy buyers. So if you want to do that, go ahead. They'll probably be 750 tomorrow on Tuesday. So that was content there. Talked about the 80 times five. We talked about 85 plus fodder being down. No team of the week requirements. So that's kind of crappy. 83s let's just do a little update on their price at the moment because i mean they're up a good amount and we'll check out some 84s in general see if some of them are cheap uh cheaper than odegaard and trippier so 83 overall cards take a quick peek how much is someone like zh they are 1200 coins it's looking like yeah 1200 coins so up 400 coins from the 800 coin bids that we were doing on friday i think saturday as well so that's a dub there we have 84s let's just check out someone like thomas party how is he doing three 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 four three five so i mean trippier and odegaard seem to be very close to the same price as all 84s if you still want to do it you're late you're paying a little bit more like 400 coins more than what we were originally paying but you can still do it because, I mean, if we look at someone like Declan Rice, Declan Rice is in the current community team of the season. And if we look at his price, he is going for how much is he going for? Five thousand three hundred. I'm guessing same thing with Tadic as well. So our out of pack investments are actually doing pretty decent at the moment. And five thousand two hundred. There we go. So that's that. Let's mention team of the weeks real quick. I've told you guys team of the weeks are zero risk. I don't know if I really expect them to rise too much. We need 
requirements. We need some sort of team of the week requirement. We're really not getting them right now, but guess what? Team of the weeks. Why ain't you working? That should be popping up. Team of the weeks are gone. Yeah, 9,400 coins on Romney. They are gone. Wednesday, that's it. Team of the week is done for the rest of the year. So team of the weeks will start to rise, but we do need team of the week requirements. So I don't know how soon it's going to be. That's why I've said it's zero risk. It's pretty safe. If they don't rise, you can quick sell them and not lose anything because 9,400 coins on bid, he quick sells for 9,394. So you lose six coins. You're not really losing any coins, but I just think they are better investments for you to be making like the 84s with Trippier, Odegaard, maybe the Rodri, stuff like that. Other Premier League cards as well. We'll get into those in a second. So there's that team of the week's discard. You can still pick them up, but like I said, if they don't get required, they're not going to rise. And if they don't really work, you can just quick sell them. We talked about as well, 84 team of the weeks. They're pretty damn easy to pick up for discard price on bid 10 to five. They quick sell for 10,248 coins. So you risk two coins per card. Oh my God. So if you can still do that 10 to five on those 84 team of the weeks, give it a shot. Really low risk and they're higher in rating. So it makes it a little bit better for... I guess if you get a team of the week or team of the season requirement, you're not using a, what is Romney? 76, 77 overall team of the week. You're using an 84 overall team of the week. So a bit better for the SVCs. Uh, next up, let's talk about the market and team of the season. So I've had people asking about like buying their teams and team of the season cards, basically. So team of the season cards, you know, I mentioned how Sunday or Wednesday is the low if you haven't bought your cards yet, I'm actually looking, you just saw it right there. I'm looking to buy Bernardo Silva for my team. Oh, let's do a quick peek at my team. I still think Wednesday, if you haven't bought yet, you could wait till we potentially get the guaranteed community team of the season SBC and we maybe see some panic. That's what happened last year. There was a bit of a sell off on Wednesday when the community team of the season guaranteed SBC came out and it was a decent time to maybe pick up cards for your team. I'd say... If you're looking to buy someone like Golden Bappe, probably wait till Friday with Premier League Team of the Season pack supply coming in. He's a gold. He's in packs. So it's as simple as that. Any of the Team of the Season cards, Bernardo Silva, whatever it may be, this is the team I'm looking to build, by the way. It's going to be nasty. It is full chemistry as well. And I packed Red Turam. 16 of 4 Weekend League rewards. Bernardo Silva. Let's take a peek real quick. I am hoping these cards can come down. The market in general at the moment is up slash like kind of stale. So if we look at players, I mean, it's basically what I just said. Cards are either up in price or they're stale and kind of just staying somewhat flat. Like Turam, is, he's been chilling around like 350. He, he did have a low point, I believe, on Sunday when that hero player pick came out. I'll actually, I'll check it out real quick. Let me go. Sunday, yeah, Sunday, he had another low point when the hero player pick came out. He was down at around 300. He was actually below 300,000 coins. So Sunday, low. And he's up in price from that. And he's kind of just been chilling around the 330, 340, 350 range. I'm hoping Wednesday there's another bit of a dip because if you definitely want that Turam for your team, I think a lot of these community team of the season cards are just going to keep rising out of packs. Now, just a little thing, if you're buying cards for your team, just it's situational on the cards. It, it, it's very situational and it depends on what kind of cards you're looking to buy. Like if I was buying Premier League Strikers, I'd be a little careful just because, let me load this up real quick. There is a Ollie Watkins SBC slash objective on the way. So I'd be a little careful looking at something like that. If you wanted, uh, let's, let's just think about Premier League, who's coming out, players in that position could maybe get hurt. So like, what can I think of? I'm just thinking of link investments right now. Like, oh, look, Man City, so many Man City players. Who's going to rise? Nathan Ake. But who would drop? Why can't I think about that? Be careful with KDB team of the season, stuff like that. So you get the idea. It's situational. But if you have players that are, you know, for team of the seasons that aren't really here yet, like Ligue Bundesliga, Syria. I don't think you need to worry too much about panic on those types of cards. Like say you wanted to buy a, let me look at a Syria card. Who's a big Syria card? Tio Hernandez, team of the year. 
I wouldn't really worry about buying one of these cards. I wouldn't worry about buying one of his World Cup. I think that's the World Cup one. I, I don't know. I'm not going to click on it because I'm too lazy. So I, I really wouldn't worry about buying some of those cards. I think they'll just stay kind of still slash maybe continue to rise for a little bit until their team comes out and maybe he gets another card. So that's my take on that with the market. Stale slash rising. Just be careful with you know some of the cards you're buying because of the Premier League striker, Ollie Watkins. Maybe if you're buying Julian Alvarez, be a little careful there. Erling Holland, he's getting another card. Maybe be careful if you're looking to buy his team of the year. And uh, if you want, you guys could wait till Wednesday and see if that community team of the season SPC does cause a bit of panic on the market. And maybe you can see some buy-ins in some areas, but I don't know if it's going to affect how much it will really affect cards that are out of packs. Uh, next up, Team of the Season out of pack investments. Let's just kind of go over that real quick. Um, if you know who's getting in Team of the Season, it, buying those cards is pretty safe. So like we were talking about this for a while on stream and it's, it's tricky because like Whoever the goalkeeper is, say like Aaron Ramsdale gets a team of the season card. I think his gold card would do really good, really good out of packs. But who's going to get the team of the season goalkeeper? Because it could be Nick Pope. It could be Allison or it could be Ramsdale. If this Ramsdale gets in, he's 950 coins. I bet his bids are like 800 coins. That is great. If this dude's 800 coins on bid, let's let's go check it out. And he goes out of packs. That's amazing. Nick Pope, similar. Uh, we can actually look at these cards right now. I was talking about it. I was like, guys, you know, these are good investments if they are getting a team of the season card. But who is getting it? I don't know. Nick Pope has been like 650 on bid. Someone might be go 900. The dude's 900 on buy now. I don't know what's going on there. He's been pretty cheap. Yeah, I don't know what that 900 bid was. He's been going for, I mean, when we were watching on stream, he was like 650, 700 on bid. So someone like Nick Pope, 700 coins on bid. Oh, gold rares are actually up a little bit. So he's probably going to be like 700, maybe 750 on bid. Aaron Ramsdale, let's check his bids out. If one of these cards got in and they went out of packs, they'd probably go up a decent amount. Aaron Ramsdale, I'm guessing you could get 800 coins on bid. Can we see what the bids are? 900? Even 900 I would still buy. But why are we bidding 900? What's his buy now again? Okay. Interesting. I get maybe people are investing right now and they're just overpaying a little bit. So those cards could do really good. We, tra we talked about Trippier. talked about Odegaard. Talked about Rodri. Luke Shaw would do really good if he got a card. But... Is Luke Shaw going to get a card or is Zinchenko going to get a card? So that's why I'm, you know, a little like, who's going to get the card? Saliba is one that I'd say is fairly nailed on. We talked about buying Saliba for 650 coins. If you already bought Saliba, this is the card we mentioned in yesterday's video. He's already a thousand coins. We were buying for like 650, 700. If you got to pay like 750 or 800 coins, I'd still do it. But if you have to pay more than that, it's a little tough there. Marcus Rashford, I like a lot. I think Marcus Rashford had a lot of potential. My only issue with Marcus Rashford is this dude tripled in price because of marquee matchups. So he's just really inflated. He costs more than what he should. Like he should be closer to a thousand coins, but because of marquee matchups, he's up over 2000 coins. So kind of staying away from that. And that is the investments. I'm probably about to put two, a million coins into one of those team of the season out of pack investments i'm not quite sure who yet but i'm going to decide tonight and i'll probably let the vip discord know and then maybe you guys can know on like wednesday or maybe if you join the stream you'll just see the cards that i have i'm really not too sure what i'm doing yet because i gotta do some research you know check out some prices and see who i think might be getting in now content the next few days let's just kind of give you guys an idea of what to be expecting tomorrow on tuesday we are getting a token sbc not token team of season challenge sbc if you guys can sbc solution trade there you go i'll be live at content if anything is going to rise because of that sbc we'll try to make some plays off of that but we need 30 chemistry the last one was 27 chemistry make it 30 chemistry make it hard so cards can rise a ton Tomorrow on Tuesday, I would also expect an heir to the Visa Team of the Season Guaranteed SBC. And then Wednesday, I would expect a 
Community Team of the Season guaranteed SBC. And then Thursday, just marquee matchups. Friday, Premier League Team of the Season. And that's probably how it's going to go. A little heads up, and it just kind of clicked in my head. If you have aired the Visa Team of the Season cards, you probably want to sell before Friday. Because if I'm correct, we're going to see... I, I'm not going to take... Because this video's been long already. I'm not going to look into it. But I'm pretty sure... Air of the Visa team of the season is going to go into Premier League team of the season. And then there's another team that comes out on either like Sunday or Monday. And it would be the championship team of the season. So that means Air of the Visa team of the season is going to get all the Premier League supply Friday, Saturday, all those lightning rounds, all those safe packs. So a little heads up there. I kind of forgot about that. If you do have Air of the Visa team of the season, be careful. Like Bergwine. We bought Bergwine for 60K. He's already like 75,000 coins. Maybe look to sell them on like Wednesday, Thursday-ish or Lazy List. Lazy Listing has been really good on those cards. And Ake, just holding. I think Ake just kind of keeps rising. Ake, we bought for 190. The dude's like 220, 230. So we're doing really good on our investments. Really good so far on our investments. The high-rated fodder, kind of crappy. We, we did pretty much somewhat avoid it except for the 87s, Team of the Weeks. Disappointing that we didn't get a team of the week requirement, but like I said, if they don't rise, you can just quick sell. They will rise at some point though, because they're literally done after Wednesday. Low rated fodder on the rise. We're still holding, probably selling our 83s, 84s on Wednesday. Wednesday, guys, 83s, 84s, probably selling on Wednesday. Almost everything, almost all our fodder Wednesday, looking to sell. But that's it for this video, guys. Any questions, comment section down below, free trading Discord, Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.